not 31. I had a question coming out of section 6.4, number 29. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the sections in that that part just so we can we can see them play out. So how this works is I was officially asked here, it, it, what would we do if we had log base 2? So what you want to figure out is what are the, the bases for all of these logarithms. And if you have the common log, that's log base 10, right? And if you have the natural log, that's technically log base e, right? Keeping in mind, and I'll put this off to the side, e is about 2.7. I'll put, let me put the approximation symbols to be more precise. Okay, so e is about 2.7. So then the, the name of this game is just to figure out which one had the smallest base all right, because the smaller your base, the faster your logarithmic growth, believe it or not. So if we look at this right now, I can see that log base two has the smallest base because our, our bases are respectively, we've got 10, E, two, five, and 25. And so two is that smallest number. So what that means is that for this function right here, all right, if I go ahead and I, oops, well, I don't know what happened to it. Somehow I erased it. So let me, let me do that again. All right, let me get, come on, buddy. Let me cut this out. Here we go. So I'm going to take this one and now I'm going to move it. All right, that is going to go with A. All right, so let me shrink it just so I have space. So this one is going to be log base 2 of X. And there's a lot of pieces in this, this um, these homework solutions. That's why you see things. Um, getting highlighted. The next smallest number I have is log base E. So if I cut this part out here, right, if I cut out ln x, that's the next smallest base. So that's got to be the graph that goes with B. And so let me just put that along B. And let me move that just ever so slightly. There we go, right? And then I can try, oops, and I don't know what I did to g of x, but I think you get the idea. And then the next smallest number is log base 5. So you can see that if I cut this one out and I go to log 5, that's going to go with part C. Let me shrink it and kind of adjust it. There we go. That's about as good as I can get there. And then the next smallest number is log base 10. All right, so that's going to go with graph D. Let me shrink it and try and put it in there like so, something like that. And then last but not least, we have J of X, which is log base 25. That is the largest number. So that's going to go in there. So the answer specifically for 29 is that we're going with the graph on A. All right, but that's how you could play all of these out. So the, the lower the base, the faster the logarithmic growth. All right, so we're going to we're going to see it play out like that. All right, thanks so much everyone. Bye.